right, we are here uh, in a parking lot at Our Lady of Fatima Church where we are going to be doing some lighting. Some lights out here by a field that we're going to be putting in some solar lights, the 80 watt Everin series, and we're going to be covering a lot of the rest of the parking lot with some next gen threes, 300 watts and 150 watts. So we wanted to get some before pictures so you can see what this place looks like before the lights go in. And then once we've got the full install done, we're going to show you after and get some, some footage during the install as well, hopefully. So we'll get some shots of everything. Um, I brought the light meter out here where we're going to be putting these 80 watt Everin lights. Uh, I think it's kind of pointless. Uh, I can barely see the see that it's at zero lux. So we really don't have much of any light out here right now uh, at all pretty dark on this side of the parking lot and they definitely want to light this up so we're gonna see some big changes in here uh, we've also got buildings and apartment complexes uh, close by so a lot of the work here is to make sure that we're not going to be flooding the surrounding areas with light all right so we're out here on the back of the lot here no power run out here at all so only option was solar so we went with our 80 watt everin series um gonna put up at least three of these may go with a few more just to light up this back side of the lot um, from the other video you really couldn't see anything back here completely dark we couldn't get anything on the meter um, none of the lights from surrounding were doing anything back here, so we wanted to get some light on this back part of the lot, get some safety. These 80 watt Everins are fantastic solar lights for that. Motion controlled, we've got lower dimming dust to dawn, bright with motion, so plenty of light for the people around, no need for power. So we've got the 80 watt Everin solar light right behind me here. We've got plenty of light um, shooting out to both sides out front. So we're getting a great light on the back side of this parking lot where there's no power. Um, as you can see, as long as I'm moving here, the light's staying on. If I get pretty still here, it's going to drop down to a dim setting. So we still have some light. Um, so you can see kind of what's going on. You get close, you make some motion, it turns on full brightness. Um, we've also tested out the sensitivity, got about 30, 35 feet from this light and it was still cranking on um, when we were moving in that area with the light up probably 15, 20 feet. So we're getting close to about 40 feet on the sensitivity on these lights. Um, so we got a nice bright 80 watt light, no power to it, great for parking lots. We can still use this for some sport lighting as well with all this brightness. As long as you're moving around, you've got plenty of light you how this does in the in the lot here um, it's always great to have powered lights when you can you can get more power more light where you want it uh, but there's always spots where you can't get power and that's what these solar lights are for uh, so when we get a chance we use power anywhere we can it can get expensive getting power out real far from buildings where you don't have power so that's where we use these solar lights the Everin series fantastic solar light um, you can see a nice big range on this light. Um, plenty of what you need when you don't have power in the area. All right, I'm a good 60 feet from this light right now with the light at full brightness. You can see we have plenty of light out here. Um, we're getting out of the range on the sensitivity so it's going to dim down a little bit. Uh, we got our cameraman doing a little work on that to try and keep it nice and bright. But you can see when we're at full brightness here, we've got Plenty of light that's spreading out from this on a solar light, something you don't see without spending a lot of money on solar. So these Everin series, fantastic lights when it comes to solar. All right, the last thing we wanted to point out with these Everin series is you get three to four nights on a full charge. So even after a couple days where you've got some storming, cloudy days, anything like that, you're still going to have a light that's turning on when you need it.
we are wrapping up the Evren solar lights. Two of these on the back side of the church parking lot with no power to the poles. Getting a lot of light out here. With the meter, we are getting about 100 lux or 10 foot candles right under the lights with the motion triggered. You could even go up another 5 to 10 feet and still have plenty of light with a nice wide coverage area out of these Evren solar lights. Great light with motion triggered. With these lights, even without motion, you are getting light. These lights will run at 30% brightness all night without motion. So you still get enough light to see what's going on before you even get within that motion sensor range. It's a few hundred feet to our powered next gen three lights on the far side of this parking lot, but that does not cause any problems because of these Evren series lights. The Evren series solar street lights are the perfect solution for locations like this where power is not available, but you need bright light.